Hi everyone, this is Athena from Courage Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, then please click on the subscribe button in order to get notifications for any new videos that I upload. Now, the topic of today's video is all about indecisiveness. Now, a lot of us may have moments of indecisiveness and that is okay. But what happens when you have chronic difficulty with being indecisive. What happens when somebody is indecisive all the time? Why are they like this and where does this stem from? Indecisiveness is usually, in my personal opinion, the result of having grown up in a family with narcissistic parents. Indecisiveness stems from having very low self-esteem and from not having a solid sense of self. So, you may have grown up in a family with narcissistic parents, or if you didn't, you may have been in a relationship with a partner who had narcissistic personality over a very long period of time, so several years. Now, when we start finding it hard to make decisions, this happens because usually we are around somebody that makes us feel that way by constantly doubting us every time we try and take a step forward in making a decision. If you feel like making decisions is really, really stressful for you, if you feel that you ruminate a lot or you feel really stuck and are not actually able to make a decision because you just freeze, maybe you think about it too much, maybe you think about the positives, the negatives, but you can't actually ever get to a point where you feel sure. Indecisiveness stems from insecurity, low self-esteem, and not having trust in your own ability to make a decision. Maybe you constantly tell yourself that any decision you make will be the wrong one. Maybe you keep second-guessing yourself every time you come close to making a decision. It may be that you are stuck in analysis paralysis and you overthink absolutely everything and you just can't get yourself out of this constant loop of thinking. Now, if any of these resonate with you, it may be that you were around parents that were constantly micromanaging absolutely everything that you did and didn't do. Maybe they didn't allow you to have your own identity. Maybe they didn't allow you to be your own person. Maybe your parents controlled everything you did. Maybe they didn't allow you to choose your own clothing or to choose what you want to eat. If you were around someone who was extremely controlling and extremely rigid and didn't allow you to be you, they didn't allow you to be your own person, they didn't allow you to make choices, to make decisions, this will be why you struggle with this so much in your current life. If you were around parents who parentified you and you were basically taught that you must always prioritize your parents' need rather than your own, well, this will also contribute to you finding it very hard focusing on yourself, doing things for yourself and making your own decisions. Maybe your parents constantly doubted everything you did. Maybe they filled you with doubt all the time. Maybe every time you tried to make a decision, they told you that this was going to fail or it wasn't the right one, and they constantly created this deep sense of insecurity in you. So let's go through a couple of statements that somebody would tell you if they were narcissistic. Something that would make you doubt yourself and that would affect your decision making. The list is as follows. Number one, are you sure about that? Number two, it doesn't seem like you know what you are talking about. Number three, I don't think you have thought it through very well. Number four, I think if you make that decision, you will regret it. Number five, I don't think you're the best person to be making that decision. Number six, I don't think you should be making any decisions in your current frame of mind. If you are constantly around someone who is always making you doubt yourself by saying the previous statements I mentioned, or if you are around someone who is constantly changing the narrative by gaslighting you, how on earth are you going to feel like you can trust your own decisions, your own thoughts? How are you going to feel secure in yourself if you are constantly being brainwashed by somebody 
that any step you take forward, any decision you try to make, is the wrong one. They are basically teaching you to be scared of your own voice. They are teaching you to be scared of every single decision you might make by constantly doubting you. It is very, very hard to then trust yourself. Because you've spent way too much time overthinking it, when you make a decision, it will be the wrong one because maybe you were pressured into doing it by somebody. Maybe you were around someone who was controlling and pressured you into doing it. Um, or maybe you just made a decision because you got fed up because you had spent so much time trying to make a decision. In the end, you just made a really spontaneous decision and then that decision wasn't the right one. So obviously, many people will struggle with making decisions sometimes, especially about really big things like getting a new job or leaving a relationship or moving to another town, right? These are life-changing decisions um, that can affect you, that can be stressful, and it's okay if you spend a little bit of extra time worrying about them, right? But if you're struggling to make decisions about the really small things like what you're going to wear today or what you're going to eat today, um, then that makes things a little bit more difficult because you are very much struggling with very simple day-to-day -day things. So if you are somebody who struggles with making decisions, I would say start small. Start working on these small decisions the ones that only affect you personally, and just go for it. You know, if you're struggling with uh, what you're going to wear today, look at two options, pick the best one, pick the one that feels right for you. It may not be the best one for the day, doesn't matter, what's the worst that can happen, right? Just practice, practice with the small things, practice how you feel in your body, have a look at what is going on in your head, notice your thinking, you know, what are you doing? Are you overthinking? Are you catastrophizing? Are you um, caught up in cognitive distortions, which are unhelpful thinking patterns, right? Be aware of your thinking and try and break it down if you notice that you are catastrophizing or overgeneralizing or thinking in black and white terms. Try and change your thinking into more constructive thinking where you will see that it is much better for you and it makes making a decision a lot easier. Generally, it's important to remember that if you grew up in a narcissistically abusive home, making decisions may actually be a lifelong struggle for you because it is so deeply ingrained in you. It is something that was so deeply brainwashed into you. So just be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up when you're struggling to make a decision. Just be kind to yourself and try your hardest to break it down if you have to. Um, don't overthink it. You will make many decisions in life which might not be the right one. Some will be more life-changing than others. Um, but try and trust your own voice. Try and do this slowly. And the more that you are away from these controlling individuals, so if you keep yourself at distance from any dysfunctional uh, people in your life, the more you are on your own, the more you will feel more comfortable trusting your own voice, your own decision-making. So you need to develop this trust in yourself over time and you need to work at it daily because you need to change the way that you have been brainwashed, right? So it takes time, but just keep working at it. It may always be a struggle, but don't lose hope. Just tell yourself that it will get easier the more you practice it. And please remember, making big decisions can be very difficult for a lot of people. It can create a lot of anxiety. So if you are like me and you struggle with making decisions because of the way you were brought up or because you may have been in an abusive relationship, then please feel free to share your experience in the comments below the video. Thank you so, so much for watching and for listening today. And if you have any questions at all, then please feel free to email me at courageisallyouneed at gmail.com. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care, and I will see you very soon.